everybody. How's it going? Welcome to another edition of American Picker Man. This is uh, Season 3, Episode 10. Uh, Friday. We'll get right into it, I guess. Uh, no sense telling you about uh, what I had for breakfast or anything. I, I didn't have any breakfast, so coffee. Uh, anyway, uh, Friday was a good day. Uh, picked up a number of things. Uh, a couple of good things. A couple of, you know, one excellent thing. Um, and Saturday was just a, just a poop. Uh, drove around for three hours and had about one thing to show for it. And then finally the last hour picked up a few things and got enough things to make uh, this episode. So uh, kick back, uh, you know, grab yourself a cup of something and uh, enjoy. We'll, uh, we'll get right to it. Here we go. For $2, not $3, picked up this uh, Zebra thermal printer used for uh, UPS labels, FedEx labels, that kind of thing. Uh, didn't have a uh, power supply with it, so I don't know if it works or not, but it looks like it hasn't even been used. Uh, if it, if I can verify that it works, we're probably looking at 100 to 150 dollars. Uh, if I have to sell it as is, untested, more like around 50. But still, for two dollars, uh, that's a decent buy. From my local thrift store, uh, Goodwill. I'm sure you recognize the label. Uh, it's a Farside mug. Uh, these are usually good for about 10 bucks. I paid 99 cents. For one dollar, picked up this uh, vintage Hewlett Packard uh, infrared printer. Uh, I don't have any way of verifying whether it works or not. I, probably be able to power it up and see whether it powers up or not. Uh, and that'll be about all I can do. Uh, I'm going to have to sell it as is and I'm probably still going to get uh, 10 to $15 for it. From our good friends at Tomy, for $0.50 cents picked up this uh, Pac-Man coin bank. I, I think that's working right. I don't know. Maybe I should put a coin on there and find out. I don't have a coin. Can't do it. Oh well. I'll check it later. Uh, it still isn't worth a whole lot, but for $0.50 cents, it looks like about maybe a 5 to $10 item. Okay, here's, uh, I guess, the tip of the week, since it's the only tip I have for you, so take it or leave it. Uh, if you see these little uh, adjustable uh, power supplies here, little Radio Shack jobs, where you can adjust your voltages and your uh, polarity on your tip, uh, good to pick these up and have on hand. Uh, you're going to pick up something at some time or another that doesn't have its power supply, and if you can uh, use this as a filler, test your product, sell your product with that, you know, at a low cost, you know, you can get them for a dollar usually or less. Uh, then you've got a complete item to sell and you're going to get a lot more for it because you know it's working and it's complete. So there you have it. Tip of the week. I was hoping when I picked this up that it said 1961 on here, but it actually says 1981, so uh, not as old and therefore not, therefore not as desirable. Um, it's a Toucan Sam, for your Fruit Loops friend here. Ate a ton of Fruit Loops as a kid, uh, one of my favorites. I always loved digging in the box for the prize at the bottom, whatever that might have been. Uh, anyway, it's dirty, it's kind of nasty, it was 50 cents and I shouldn't have bought it because it's really got uh, only like a three, three to five dollar value. I picked up this beauty from a yard sale, this is uh, from Bandemir Speedway. Uh, for a dollar, it's a uh, signed pen holder, paperweight, weighs like two pounds, by Big Daddy Don Garlitz and John Force, two uh, legends in NHR racing. Uh, it's, this is the COA, it says hey they signed it and there it is in black marker right on this uh, heavy duty paperweight. It doesn't have a pen with it but I think I can find something to put in there. Find a cross pen of some kind and uh, make it complete and maybe get uh, 20 to 30 dollars for that guy. Didn't know when I picked it up that this would be uh, so uh, such a great find but here it is. It's All Star Baseball by Catico. It's the uh, 1942 edition and uh, it's not a very fancy game. It's just uh, kind of a spin the spinner and see if you get an out or a hit or whatever but it does have a little strategy to it. Uh, it's got all these little wheels on there. I'm not gonna, I know I'm gonna lose these if I tip it too far. Anyway, there, all those little wheels fit on there. You spin, you see whether you get a hit or a triple or a double, whatever. Um, it's all loaded with all sorts of stars from the uh, 1940s uh, of which I don't recognize a whole lot because I wasn't around there but there, you know, Joe DiMaggio's in there. There's a few others that I recognize. Bob Feller, um, anyway, I'm looking at my crotch here. That's not very exciting. Uh, anyway, it's, it's, uh, I paid a dollar for it, and it turns out to be uh, quite a remarkable find. These things usually go for, if they're complete, which this one is, uh, looking at about 100 to 150 dollars. Uh, for two bucks, picked up a handful of old calculators here. Uh, I'm not going to take them out of the case here because they're just, they're just not worth it. It's a SR10, old TIs, SR50, a little bit better. And uh, this little thing that's uh, you know worth not worth the price of a new battery really, uh, but altogether I think I'll save these, put them as a lot because I've got some other stragglers here that don't really have a whole lot of value, but put them as a lot and maybe get uh, twenty to thirty dollars for the bunch. I almost walked past these because I thought they were kids' toys and they didn't look that exciting, but took a closer look and uh, got this box that's uh, all full of uh, nineteen seventy monogram uh, snap tight uh, Tom Daniels designed uh, model little models here. I 
paid three dollars <throat> for the batch and uh, some of these guys go for you know fifteen to twenty dollars a piece a couple of them are broken most of them probably five that look pretty good got this Corvette we got this Corvette what the heck was that uh, anyway this little, uh, little Volkswagen VW there anyway so I paid uh, three bucks for the whole works and uh, you know ten to fifteen on any given one of them maybe a little more maybe a little less uh, so we're looking at about fifty dollars or so for this box got this uh, Radio Shack Pro 62 scanner a little handheld job it works okay yeah, hear the static it works fine um, it did have some uh, battery acid corrosion in there clean that up a little bit it's still a little flaky you're gonna have to do a little bit more cleaning just to make sure it's working a hundred percent I paid a dollar for that and not one of the better models it's only worth about fifteen to twenty dollars uh, for a dollar got this electronic uh, sensory backgammon game by uh, Saytech, I think it's called. Saytech, Saytech, I don't know. Something tech. Uh, works fine. Uh, good little piece. Uh, dollar will be about uh, 20 to 30 dollars. Take a quick trip to Polaroid land here. Picked up three Polaroid cameras. Uh, all at the same spot. Surprise, surprise. Um, for starters, we'll show you the uh, land camera. The 800. You know, it's, it does have the flash on. I didn't actually see if the flash had any added value to it. I'm sure it must, but that thing's a beast. Uh, these things don't go for a whole lot, maybe around $20. Uh, looks to be in pretty good shape, so I paid, uh, I think, $10 for all three of these that I'm going to show you. So there's one. I haven't taken this guy out of the box yet. Not going to. It's so nicely uh, taped up and strapped up with string there. It's a super shooter. Uh, this was part of the uh, three for $10 deal. These go for around $10 to $15. These goes. These goes for about $10 $15. The last of the Polaroids, and the best, is the uh, Big Shot. I'll leave that in the box as well. Uh, very nice condition, and these typically go for, uh, they kind of vary, I mean, from 30 up to, you know, 15 $60. Dollars. I'll, uh, I'll hope for 30 or 40 that'll work for me. Always on the lookout for these. I've had them a number of times in the past. The Stephen Cosgrove Serendipity Books, you know, they got the cute little bunnies and the cute little, uh, you know, they're all, like, environmentally friendly, you know, be nice to your neighbor kind of uh, books for your kids. Um, Individually, they'll only sell for like one to two, three dollars maybe. But uh, this little lot of nine will probably get about uh, twenty dollars. So I paid a dollar for that. Uh, in all my years, uh, eBay and yard selling and everything, I, c I think I've only bought one trumpet. Usually, they're way overpriced, and uh, they're well used or beat up, in other words. Uh, but this week, I picked up a beautiful Yamaha here. Uh, looks like it was barely used. Uh, kid probably played it, you know, for a couple weeks and then decided to play the banjo or the fiddle or something. But uh, he certainly left this one in great condition. I paid $15 for it, and uh, looks like these guys go for about uh, $200. So good find. Oh, there's the mouthpiece. Um, so I'm thinking about waiting till maybe first part of August to sell this, just because I think I don't know. This is just my uh, my thought pattern here. That uh, as school gets closer, people get desperate for their kids to get their instruments for band and whatever. Uh, so maybe there's a little more fight, little little higher value will be paid for it. Uh, then again, I might just be totally off base. So uh, we'll see. I'll probably wait. But uh, if I need some money, uh, here's an easy 200. PlayStation games are like scratch tickets, and this is a scratch ticket that turned out to be a little bit of a winner. It's Elemental Elemental Gear Gear. Let me try that again. Elemental Gear Bolt. See, coffee does work. I paid a dollar for that, and that looks like about a twenty dollar purchase right there. Here we got a uh, Long Acre uh, dual timer. Uh, clipboard for uh, drag racing right there it says five I actually said ten on the box five on the clipboard I got it for three so uh, that's a pretty good deal seen a number of, I've seen I saw a number of these up on uh, eBay and they were all over hundred dollars uh, but none of them have sold uh, for the past month so I'm guessing they're really not worth a hundred dollars I'll shoot for 50 maybe 75 and see if we can get that for it if so, that's goodbye. Picked up a couple of electronic handheld games. We're all familiar with the uh, value of the Yahtzee, $20 to $30. Uh, these, picked up both of these for a dollar total. Uh, got the Hangman, not such a great game there. These guys only go for like 2 to $5. So I'm going to pair the two together, see what happens, and uh, give the person who buys this the bonus of a, a very exciting Hangman game. It's not a bad game, but just not very popular. Picked up this Radica Free Cell, another little handheld game. Uh, these are a good little uh, item. I paid uh, $2 for that. And that will probably go for uh, around twenty-five to thirty dollars. Took a shot on this Anchor Hawking milk glass uh, mug here. H is for horse, the soil he does turn, and other hard work for his keep to earn. 
flows right off the tongue, doesn't it? Anyway, it's a cute little kid's cup. I uh, paid a uh, dollar for it and dollar? No, 50 cents. Uh, uh, has a little bit of value, maybe 10 to 15 dollars. Top find of the week in this here box here. It's a BK and T. It's a Becker knife and tool. And it's a knife. And it's, uh, it's quite a nice knife. This is called the Crewman BK uh, 101, I think it is, yes. It's a uh, military knife, you know, combat knife kind of thing. Sturdy piece, I tell you. It's brand new in the box. It's got all the uh, goodies in there, all the papers. It's got the sheath unused. Uh, paid $5 for it. I, I'm embarrassed to say I tried to get it for 3 but I really didn't know the value of it. Hadn't purchased this type of knife before, but I was guessing maybe about a $50 knife just from, you know, past experience. Uh, turns out this baby is worth, a, this baby, this baby is worth about uh, $200 to uh, $300. So certainly takes the top spot of the week. And with that, uh, we're going to, we're going to say adios. Uh, that's it. That's everything for this week. Thanks everybody for helping me reach that uh, 100,000 uh, view plateau. Uh, here's to more of that and uh, hopefully you're, you'll stay entertained and you'll keep coming back for more. Tell your friends. Um, stay tuned for updates on a few things that sold last week and uh, we'll catch you next time on American Pigman. <laughs>